All right, I know it's been a bit, but here I have a Securum K5 that I got from Darkly. It's got uh, six dimple pins across the top. They're in this kind of deep groove channel, so you need something to reach up and push up on those really high on the max lifts. And the, um, those I think are like standard pins or they're tapered or there's over milling on the plug because I felt I had to pick them more than once. And then along the side here, it's for four sliders along the bottom. Those sliders are sprung and they interact with the sidebar on the bottom. Um, so those always pop back into, and it doesn't want to give me the key back half the time. I'm not sure what's going on there. In any case, I have this uh, multi-pick Z-bar, which one, I don't know what that means, BMS08. I don't think it matters. All the Z-bars will work in here. And um, I have a multi-pick G-Pro Elite number six. It's a, uh, I don't know if you call that a left-hand flag, but I'm gonna go under it from the, the right side so I can get under it like that. I also have a right-hand flag, but I didn't bring it down. They go from the other side. I'll go from this side uh, and we'll see what we got. All right, so the first one is springy. The second pin is binding. Get under it and lift it. Okay, get under it. All right, lift it, but now it's springy. So it just it like gave a little bit, and now it's just springy. Um, this is the second one. Third one, springy. Fourth one, springy. Fifth one. I think uh, I just lifted it really high. And the sixth one I lifted a little bit. Now I gotta get my pick back somehow. It's getting stuck on something. Don't know what it's getting stuck on. Oh, there we go. Alright, first one, nothing. Second pin. Why can't I stay on these pins? Second pin is binding. I think. Second pin is binding all the way up click from it, went all the way up high actually, that second one. Third one feels like it's already really high, it must have been from when I pushed it before. Fourth one is springy. Fifth one, I don't know, and then there's the sixth one is binding pretty hard. I lifted it up a little and I lost track of it. Let's see if I can find it again. What is that sixth one? This is going to be one of those cases where it's not a difficult lock, but the camera is adding difficulty. Um, so first one, nothing uh, springy. Second one. Second one, I think is jiggling. Third one is jiggling. Fourth one is down low and is springy. Fifth one up high and springy. Sixth one came back down again, I think. No. There it is, sixth one. Click from the sixth one. Come back up again. First one is now binding. Little click from it. Second one. Still jiggling up top. Third one. Third one. Little click from it, I think, up top, way up top. Fourth one, which is the was the low one so far, it is jiggling. Fifth one can't be felt. Where is the fifth one? Where are you, fifth one? Four and where is five or six? Don't know where either of those are. Why well, can't I get my pick out? All right, first one is jiggling or springy. I can't quite tell which. It's got a lot of movement. Second one. Let's see if we got any of these high binders here. Second and third, I don't think so. We'll try it one more time. Fourth. And try to find this fifth one again. Not finding anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and maybe play with these sliders once and see if we can get any, uh, any of them to be binding. And if not, then we'll go back to the top. So first one is springy, but it stops. Second one, springy. Third one, oh, 
Got a binder here, I think. Let's see if I can do anything about it. Oops. Hold on, I lost where I'm at. One, two, binder here. Click there, a little bit of plug movement. And fourth one, right here. Click there. Go back to the beginning. One, no. Two, no. Three and four. So I think I got those. Maybe that little bit of plug movement will give me some more binders up top. So we'll go back to the top. First one is springy. Second one is springy. Third one's springy by the feel of it. Fourth one is springy or jiggling, whichever. In any case, I feel a little bit of spring, so I'll just call them springy for now. Fifth one is, I felt like that's the fifth one, but I can't seem to stay on it. There's something going on with the fifth one. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, a little click, I wanna say. One is now binding, and we're open. So I've picked this one a couple times, and every time it picks a little different. So I'm kind of anxious to see what's going on inside. I haven't taken a look in there yet. I'm gonna leave it picked because the um, the rear clip. So I've got it in as far as taking the rear clip off. But I didn't go ahead and look inside. I just wanted to see what I needed. So for this, okay, I'm picked the wrong way around, so I'll go ahead and lock it up again, and uh, let's see, let's loosen this up a little bit, try to get a little bit of room in the back to get a, a screwdriver under there, or not, um, alright, I'll take the key, I'll rotate it this way, so I can get, the, get at the clip a little. Clips are, if you want to lock your door, just put a clip on it. Forget door locks. Clips are way more effective. Of course, you probably won't be able to get into your house either at that point, so. Which way is it? This. Alright, let's try this again. Now the whole thing wants to rotate on me some reason rather than giving me any gap. Um, just being a pain in the butt. Come on, just need a little gap to fit my screwdriver. Oh, it's starting to give me a gap there. It's not going to stay though, is it? So I was able to get this clip off once by getting a little gap there and then getting the screwdriver. But now it's like rotated. It's weird. It didn't happen like this before. Let's rotate it back a little. Don't seem to have the right size clip. Oh, oh, there we go. That's the gap I want. There we go. Alright, so now probably have to rotate this a little so I can get better. And you want to be careful at this point because you get this clip off and you have the key in, the whole thing's gonna come out, right? So Wow, what a pain. Alright, so anyways, there's a clip. So let's get a fall uh, a tray. And I know it's darkly looks like he hammered these out. I don't that, that doesn't look like uh, factory damage. I'm not sure what he is doing. So let's, I did not bring a shim down. That's one thing I told myself to bring. So we'll just have to get lucky. Like this. Okay, lucky. And got a lot of construction holes, but I feel thing pushing out down here is a sidebar. So we'll deal with that first. Sidebar is just solid. It's got two springs. 
did not bring a small tweezer down. I should just have like a separate set of tools down here. So I usually pick up stairs and then I just come down to film. And so I only ever have whatever tools I decide to bring down with me down here. Um, yeah. So yeah, I haven't filmed in a while. I have other hobbies I've been working on, but mostly this week, um, I haven't been picking this week, so mostly I've been uh, taking part locks and uh, documenting what's inside and so I can put them on eBay. So I've been doing that a lot this week. Oh, I took that key out, but you know what? Maybe I should remove, I'm gonna put that back in because there are the sliders, right? So I'm gonna remove the top pins first and then I'll go worry about the sliders. So there is a decent amount of lubricant in here, keeping these uh, key pins from just falling out. That's the first one, and the second one. All right, so there's all of our key pins. Other people gut so fast. I don't, I don't know how they do it. All right, side pins. Uh, it looks like there's a, a ball bearing in that construction hole already. Let's see if I can get that to fall out. All right, so sliders, number four, three, two, and one. I can see these things already look like they have more than one gate. So I don't know if that's supposed to be a, maybe that's supposed to be a false gate, because I push it, and there's a true gate, I I, or, or a serration or something. It looks like a lot of these have two gates, but one of them is always thin, so that's got to be like a an attempt at a false gate. I didn't feel any. Um, there's one of the springs for those. I see the other three in there, but I didn't bring a, I didn't bring a small um, tweezer like I usually have to see if I can pull out these things. So those might just have to stand there. Ball bearing came out. So there was a ball bearing for chamber five. It was sitting, or chamber six rather, it was sitting there. So this must have had the had construction keys or something. Uh, all right, Bible time. Let's see. Pin one is a spool. Interesting. Okay, so. That's really interesting. Oh, yeah, I, I'll look, we'll look at that plug in a minute. It looks like there might be over milling or something. Pin two is a standard. So that pin one being a spool, I didn't feel any spools. There was no counter rotation in this. Two, three, four are all standards. Five is a standard and six is a standard. So why that first one's a spool, I don't know. I didn't feel any counter rotation or anything so it never even came to play some strings out of here. I'm going to take them out and I could dump them all out but I'll take them out in order just in case there's any variation. I doubt it though. Four, five, and six. Um, so this ball bearing would be in between like that. So there we go. Uh, nothing special in the Bible but on here, we have, sorry, trying to get it to the edge. All right, just over milling. So no counter milling, it's just over milling on every chamber. So that's why I, I was saying I felt I have to pick them twice. So you pick them once to, and then they rest on that little over milling ledge and then you pick them again to pop them out. Um, but they are all, Standard pins, except that first one is a uh, is a spool. There's that, and there's the four sliders there, and they interact with just the solid sidebar here. So they would sit in there. Um, let me see which way would they sit in there. They're going to be like that, and the key is going to push them away. Wait, how are they on that? How are they on that? Oh, they're sitting in like this. So the key's going to push in that direction. 
So they won't even hit whatever this false, oh my gosh, sorry about the, the, fo the focus. They won't even hit whatever that false gate piece is because they're, sorry, I'm gonna zoom this out a little so it stops focusing in on the tray. Um, so they won't even hit with that, that false gate first. They would hit uh, the true gate and if you overset it, then they can get to that false gate. But yeah, the false, I don't know if it's a false gate because th this thing's not even gonna drop into it. So if you generally, if you have a false gate, you want it the same width as the true gate, but less deep so that the, the sidebar can't drop all the way down. It only drop a little bit down, right? So it having this little like serrated bit, I, I'm not quite sure why, why that's there. And is that on all of them? Let me see. Yeah, it looks like it's on all of them, but if it were to be a false gate, it would be more effective in this manner because you would hit it first before you get to the true gate, right? After the true gate, it's only gonna, if you do an overset, is it gonna come into play? And it's after the true gate on three of them and before it on only one. That's if it is even a false gate. I have no idea what it is. I didn't feel it. Um, I didn't feel the spool. So, yeah, maybe I have a I have a K22 Italian lock. I haven't opened this one yet, so maybe I'll open that on camera and, and pick it. But I'll bring down a bunch more picks to do that, so make sure that I can get it out of the box rather than uh, having to run up and, up and down the stairs or fail or anything like that. So that is the Securum. Secure, secure me, secure me, secure, I want to say secure them. I have no idea. K5. Thanks everyone. Bye.